Good morning. In this session, we will try some problem based on motional EMF. Now take down the first question. A metallic square loop ABCD square loop ABCD of size 15 centimeter and resistance 1 ohm One ohm resistance one ohm a metallic square loop ABCD of size fifteen centimeter and resistance one ohm is moved at a uniform velocity. Uniform velocity This is ohm, the symbol is ohm. Okay. I'll just correct it. A metallic square loop ABCD of size 15 cm and resistance 1 ohm is moved at a uniform velocity of V meter per second in a uniform magnetic field of 2 tesla in a uniform magnetic field of 2 tesla. The field lines being normal to the plane of the paper, comma, the field lines being normal to the plane of the paper. That is, uh, the meaning is, actually it is cross magnetic field. The loop is connected to an electrical network. The loop is connected to an electrical network as shown in the figure. The loop is connected to an electrical network as shown in the figure. Calculate the speed of the loop. Calculate the speed of the loop for which 2 milliamps current flows in the loop. Okay. Let me read once again. A metallic square loop of ABCD of size 15 centimeter and resistance 1 ohm is moved at a uniform velocity of V meter per second in a uniform magnetic field of 2 tesla. The field lines being normal to the plane of the paper. The loop is connected to an electrical network as shown in the figure. Calculate the speed of the loop for which 2 milliampere current flows in the loop. First you take down the figure and then we will see how to solve this problem. Here I have a magnetic field whose strength is 2 tesla and we have a loop uh, it is a square loop A, B, C, D and this is connected to an electrical network and this network is actually a V stone bridge as shown in this figure. So 
so I'll make the connection like this each of these resistors have a value of 2 ohm P and R ABCD is a square loop and uh, it is connected to an electrical network as shown in this figure and the current in the loop is 2 milliamps Calculate the speed of the loop for which 2 milliampere flows in the loop. Now, first we will uh, list out the given things. Given the magnetic field B, that is 2 Tesla, and then current in the loop I, 2 milliamps. You can write magnetic field B is 2 Tesla, current in the loop I is 2 milliamps and what else is given? A resistance of the loop is 1 ohm. Resistance of the loop is 1 ohm. R I will write suffix A B C D is 1 ohm. Now you have to calculate what is the speed V required so that 1 amp 2 milliamps current flows through the circuit. Now we know the induced EMF is given by B L V because when a loop is moved in a uniform magnetic field the due to the change in flux linking the loop an EMF gets induced and this EMF uh, is given by uh, the you know the formula it is E is equal to BLV so let us write that formula E is equal to BLV and then we will see how do we calculate the value of V the induced EMF is given by BLV. And then now we need to calculate what is the value of V which is required for the for a current of 2 milliamperes. So that a current of 2 milliampere flows through the loop. Now, how do we calculate? First, you can find out what is E. E is I into R. And I is given. So, you have to calculate what is the total resistance of that network, including the loop resistance. Now, we know E is I into R or you know we can write the current is induced EMF divided by R what is the induced EMF it is BLV divided by R I is BLV by R this is a formula we have And from this we can get V is IR divided by P into L. Now first we need to find out, okay, I is given. First calculate what is R. R is the total resistance of network plus the resistance of the loop. That is, I can say that it is the total resistance of this whole circuit. The resistance of loop plus resistance of this network. If you see this network, it is actually a V-stone bridge. In a V-stone bridge, to find out the total resistance, first you need to find out whether this bridge is balanced or not. 
and we know how to find out the uh, whether the bg is balanced or not just recall from the previous chapter how do we find out whether the bridge is balanced or not now here are 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm so we can definitely say that this is, is a balanced free stone bridge and hence there is no current flowing through this 2 ohm and we can eliminate this 2 ohm you can write the given electrical network as a balanced free stone bridge the given electrical network as a balanced we stone bridge it's a balanced we stone bridge so what is its equivalent resistance then we can remove that 2 ohm as shown in the previous figure 2 ohm 2 ohm and this we here this side we have the loop so from this uh, this side loop i am not writing that so first we'll find out what is the equivalent resistance of this circuit now we know this 2 ohm and 2 ohm are in series this is a series circuit and this is also a series circuit and that combination is is a parallel network so this will give rise to we can write it as when resistors are connected in series the total resistance is the sum of two resistors so i can just write it as a parallel circuit this is 2 plus 2 that is 4 ohm this is also 2 plus 2 4 ohm now this is the network so now the equivalent resistance of this network is 4 ohm in parallel with 4 ohm we can write the equivalent resistance across PR equivalent resistance of network given network so you can write r p q because no p r r p r it's written p r so we can write r p r r p r as 4 ohm in parallel with 4 ohm how do we find out it is 4 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4 16 by 8 that is equal to 2 ohm now the total given loop can be written as a total network now this is the loop ABCD ABCD the resistance of this ABCD is 1 ohm which is connected to so total resistance total resistance is resistance of loop ABCD plus resistance of PR which is equal to 1 plus 2 and equal to 3 ohm now the total resistance of this circuit is 3 ohm therefore current is I is E by R which is V L V divided by R and I is given that is 2 milliamps
करंट गिवन इज टू मिली एम्स सो टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी दैट इज टू टेस्ला टू इंटू लेंथ लेंथ ऑफ द लूप इज फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन इंटू टेन टू द फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर सो कन्वर्ट इट इंटू मीटर फिफ्टीन इंटू माइनस टू इफ यू गो बैक टू द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट द लूप साइज इज फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर So L is 15 centimeter. That is 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 into V divided by R. R just now we calculated as as 3 ohm. Therefore V is V is 3 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 2 into 15 into 10 to the power minus 2. Which is equal to six into ten to the power minus three divided by two into fifteen into ten to the minus two is point one five. You can also write it as fifteen into ten to the power minus two. Now you do this calculation. So you'll get two one zero two. Two three zar six, three five zar five into ten to the power minus two. This minus two will go on top, so you will get you know ten to the power plus two. That is minus three plus two will become ten to the power minus one. Very simple mathematical calculations. Now calculate V and finally you will get V is two into ten to the power minus two meter per second. The speed required for a current of two milli ampere is two into ten to the power minus two meter per second. Speed of the loop v is equal to. Two into ten to the power minus two meter per second, or velocity. You can write because calculate the speed of the loop or velocity of the loop as two into ten to the power minus two meter per second. Now, hope you understood this problem.